Question 16. P, Q and R are point on a level ground. Q is 4.5 meters south of P. R is to the east of P and 5.3 meters from Q. A vertical post at P is supported by a cable of length 3.5 meters. The cable joins the top T of the post to point R. Calculate the angle between the cable and the level ground correctly to decimal place. So a sketch will be very important in this question because it will help us to solve it. Now let me sketch this P, Q and R. We position this point. So Q is, we start with this, Q is 4.5 meters south of P. So assuming that P is here, so if P is there, so P is here, then it means uh, 4.5 meters. So this is a 4.5 meters. And Q is south of P. So Q is uh, somewhere here. Then uh, R is to the east of P. So R is to the east of P like that. So assume that R is there, the east of P. And 5.3 meters, 5.3 meters from Q. So from Q, this distance here is what is uh, 5.3 meters. A vertical post at P is supported by a cable. A vertical post at P so let me draw a vertical post at P. So assume this, this is there. So that is the vertical cable. And this is the top. Supported by a cable of length 3.5 meters. The cable joins the top T of the post. The top T of the post. So this is the top of the post. That is point T. Uh, to point R. So that cable joins this top to R. Like this, eh? So this one is... That is how it is. So this is the so this is the cable, and then don't forget that this is the this is the post. That is the post. So since this one is a vertical post, that angle 90 degrees, and also this one 90 degrees. So having this sketch to be now easy to work out uh, the angle between the cable and the level ground. The angle between the cable and the level ground. So this is the ground. So this is the ground. So the angle between the cable and the level ground is that angle. So how do you get that? You consider this triangle, so consider this triangle that is here, and that is what is going to use. And uh, any measurements that we know, we don't have any measurements. So we only have the length of the cable, it's given as 3.5. This one is there, so this one is 3.5 meters. So if you're able to get any other side, be possible. So we can get PR using Pythagoras theorem, using this triangle. PQR. So the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is uh, 5.3 squared, then minus that height 4.5 squared. So that will give us PR. So use Pythagoras theorem to get that. So this will give the square root of 7.84. And when you get the square root of 7.84, that will give uh, 2.8, 2.8 meters. So PR is therefore 2.8. So this is 2.8 meters. Now using triangle TPR, the one that is shaded in yellow, now we should get that angle. We can use trigonometric ratio. And the suitable one to use here is cosine. So cosine of that, that angle theta is equals to adjacent, which is a PR 2.8, divided by the hypotenuse, which is TR 3.5 so this will give cosine of theta is equals to 2.8 divided by 3.5 that will give uh, 0.8 so therefore theta get the cos inverse of both sides to get theta theta will be given by the cos inverse of 0.8 and these will be 36.87 degrees so that is the angle between the cable and the level ground correct two decimal places